Hey everyone, Anthony here. So it's 8.30 at night. My, the original plan was to paint upstairs in my house. I almost called this an apartment, but uh, it's a little bit late to do that. So I want to make this video about my treadmill, this Nordic Trek treadmill, and hopefully warn you guys not to buy it. Uh, I'll tell you guys my experience and everything like that with it. Let me get a little bit brighter light in here if that's possible. Nope, that's what we're getting, but it's okay. Yeah, so I bought this thing two months ago and uh, was setting up my gym, like painted my house and everything like that. And I uh, was all excited to use it because I haven't done anything for my legs or for cardio or anything like that. I've been working with these two adjustable dumbbells uh, that go up to like 50 pounds each for many months. And I want, I'm sorry for all the echo in here, but I want to upgrade my gym and I added this thing and build out a, a better gym now that I have this house. So I bought this thing and set this thing up. And on the second time I use it, I go to lower the incline because uh, usually my workouts, I'll raise the incline up to 10 and uh, keep running or walking until I can't go no more. Then I'll lower the incline down and uh, lower the treadmill speed down to take a break before I lift it back up. So my second time using it and I, like I said, I don't use my legs that much or run that much or anything like that. Uh, yeah, we had the wrong camera setting. Sorry about that. So I don't use my legs or anything. So I'm only able to do like one mile on this thing before I get too tired. So it's not like I put like a ton of stuff on it, a ton of use on it, uh, like probably like two miles before it broke. But yeah, what happened was I went to press down on the incline and it just stopped at that position. So I'll show you what happens when I turn it on. And then like I'm already incline motor controller board that they sent me doesn't fix it. I'll tell you all that story in like one second. All right, so let's plug this thing in and I'll show you what happens when I turn it on. So when you turn it on, there's a red light and a green light that turns on. Uh, speaking to them on the phone, they say that this is normal behavior. So then when we put the key in, uh, we'll zoom in. So an orange light turns on and then a dark orange light turns on and then clicks off. And then uh, you press the incline, it doesn't change or anything, like nothing happens after that. So initially my very first time, and this is like two months ago that uh, I got in contact with their support, uh, I sent them a video of this, uh, of this exact behavior. And they're like, oh, it's, it's the incline motor. And I'm like, okay, so they send me an incline motor and of course, being a warranty service, they send it like the slowest way possible. So it took two weeks, two and a half weeks to get the incline motor here. So that's a whole uh, two and a half weeks of it, of me not using it. It's just making some clicking sounds now. Uh, yeah, that orange light went off. So uh, there's that. Yeah, so I replaced the incline motor and the whole time I'm like, I'm not a treadmill technician. Like, why am I replacing an incline motor on this thing? But it's really not too bad to uh, replace. It's uh, one bolt right here and then another bolt down there. Uh, you have to make sure that you get under, can get underneath it to uh, unscrew the second bolt. And then it's uh, just a couple wires on it. Yeah, it just keeps clicking on and off like that, I guess. Uh, I don't know what any of those mean. Uh, so the incline motor didn't fix it. So I got in touch with them again. And uh, this time I called them on the phone instead of speaking to them through email. And uh, the guy Cameron was really nice and everything and really helpful. So I sent him uh, this video and he's like, oh, I've never seen those clicks before because I'm trying to tell him like, oh, maybe those lights are like an error message or something that uh, that'll help you diagnose it. Like maybe that series of lights is like a uh, like that series of lights equals a error code or something. Then you can reference what those lights mean or something like that. So he's like, yeah, I've never seen any of those lights before. Uh, 
he was telling me like just a solid green and red ones are normal, but he's never seen any of those other lights before. So he's like, all right, well, let me get in touch with my boss. Uh, so he sent the video over to them and uh, someone else and they're like, yeah, we have to replace the controller board. So that's when I got, well, the new controller boards in there. And as you can see, the new controller board doesn't work. But also he's like, well, we're gonna send you the new upright uh, wire just in case. I'm like, okay, so that's that's that. He sends me this and, uh, well, the plan is to send me the controller board and the upright wire. Then two weeks later, I get this, uh, replace this and replace the controller thing. I don't get the wire in the mail. Uh, a couple of days later after I receive this, I get an email from uh, Nordic Track or Icon Fitness is who manages their warranty. So get an email from Icon Fitness saying, oh, the uh, wire is out of stock. It won't be here uh, in, it won't be in their warehouse until October 28th. And then it will take seven to 10 days to ship from their warehouse. And then I guess another two weeks for me to receive it after that, because that's their shipping times. Uh, today is October 22nd, by the way. And I got that email like three days ago for the upright wire. But the way things are going, fingers crossed that this upright wire fixes this because we're we're already two months into this and I'm, I don't have a working treadmill. And it's honestly really frustrating because all I want to do is work out and build up my leg muscles and all that stuff. Keep in mind, these parts aren't cheap either. So I paid $500 for this on Amazon. There was a sale. I think normally it's like 650 or something, but I got it in their June lightning deal sale for 500. But uh, you can go to Icon Fitness's website and uh, look up their parts and you can order replacement parts yourself and everything like that. This is $194. I think that's like $160. So it's already like, pretty close to the amount that I paid for my treadmill already is, uh, or like half of it or whatever is, uh, already they sh uh, shipped me in parts. But this is the other thing with this upright wire, it routes into here and up and up here. So replacing this wire, isn't a simple task, like removing this cover and taking out these pieces you have to actually remove the leg and fish a new wire through this whole thing. Uh, you have to remove this whole top console, which this is a pretty heavy, uh, heavy thing and fish a new wire up through there. So, uh, yeah, don't buy this treadmill because there, there's a lot of other people in the Amazon reviews that have, uh, issues with the incline as well. Oh, also I want to say Amazon did refund me the money for this, even though it was like well outside of the warranty or well outside of the return period, Amazon refunded me the money. And I explained to them, I'm like, I've been trying to work for with them for two months and this machine still isn't working. Like on the second time that I used it, like I used it one and a half times in the middle of my second workout, it broke. Uh, so. I've been, I've, Amazon tells you like, you have to work with the, uh, with the company to get it fixed. You can't just, uh, return it to them. So I've been working with the company for months. And, uh, even though thankfully, even though I was outside of the return period, Amazon refunded me the money for it. So I'm not like out any money, but it just sucks because like, I can't use a treadmill and this thing, like I'm just one person. I don't have a truck to like throw this out. I can't lift it up myself. Uh, I would have to get my neighbor to my neighbor's son to help me lift it and throw it out, but I don't have anywhere to put another treadmill. Uh, I mean, I do, I have a whole house. I can put another, I can buy another treadmill and put it somewhere, but I'm thinking about if this doesn't get fixed, just like throwing it out or selling it on, uh, Craigslist or somewhere as like half working because the belt still works. Uh, just the incline is stuck in that position. You can manually lower and raise it. I mean, it's a gigantic pain in the ass to do, but basically what you have to do is twist this thing, like take unbolt that and manually twist it to lower it down. And it's, it's not an easy thing to do because of how heavy it is, but I'm thinking about just getting rid of this 
and getting a uh, Concept2 rowing machine, even though that's like 1300 bucks, there's no electronics in it. It's just uh, like uh, air driven, uh, air resistance thing. So it's not like any electronics can break in it or anything like that. Uh, just all problems. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say before I end this video. Yeah, that's it. Just hopefully just learn from my mistake or not even mistake. I didn't make a mistake. I bought a machine that all the reviews said was good. Learn from my experience, I hope, and don't buy this machine because it's been nothing but a hassle for me and uh, nothing but a hassle for so many other people as well. Mm -hmm.